How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, I got a very special client. You might have seen him on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. He is known for making some really funny videos. Okay, something big's knocking on daddy's door. Excuse me, boys. Thank you. I just frosted my cupcake. Oh, okay, I am in desperate need of a shovel. <laughs> so with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go. Bam, 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 bam. Right, here we go. Let's put this on. Yeah, those are very good. Do you want me to go higher? Are you no, are you good? Good. You're good. From a scale from one to 10, how nervous are you? Ooh, probably nine and a half. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> here we go, look, it's satisfying. Beautiful. Check it out, the mirror, make sure you like the placement. Yeah. From, from up top, the beak looks so straight, but like here, it definitely curves It curves, so yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, it gives it a little bit more of that personality. Yeah. It stretches. Do you like this hat or do you like the other no, hat? No, I love this hat. This hat, okay, this hat is so sick. Perfect. Yeah, this is oh, the one. Dude, it's going to be dope as fuck. Woo! I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Have a seat. Relax. This is your, this is your day. Oh. Today is your day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So how much do you think we're getting done today? Probably up to the hand. Oh shit. We'll awesome. see. We'll see how far we get awesome. today. It's a chill day. <laughs> it's a super chill day. <laughs> I'm actually gonna have you stand up one more time. Have you ever gotten embarrassed like in a location and you're like, I, I can't go through this? Yeah, like, sometimes I do. Yeah? Is it most of the time? I just sit down and wait. Oh, you wait until you build yeah, the courage? Yeah, I'm just oh like, Oh my right, god. Getting back to it. I can't imagine. <laughs> I don't know, you, you just learn to like fight it and just embrace it, but there are times where I'm just like, ah, I'm gonna take a break. Like it's, okay. it's when I do weird stuff uh -huh. and nobody reacts. And oh. I'm just like, ah. Oh, now you look weird again. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> I never Like I'll just do something it. so weird and then no, nobody does anything and I'm just like, ah, I'm gonna just take a second to myself. <laughs> Amazing, I love that. Okay. That's gonna look so sick. Good music, good tattoo. Do you want me to scoot up or? You no, you're good there? right there. Right. It's a vibe. Oh, <laughs> 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 it's nice, huh? That's really good. Yeah, the lady that did the cover up, dude, that shit was so rough. Really? Yeah, that hurt. On this one? Yeah. She's oh. like digging into me. <laughs> Oof. Uh, how long ago did you get it done? Uh, four years ago. Four years ago? Yeah, four or five, something mm. like that. Do you ever have someone come in and cover up a cover up? Yes. Yeah? I had a cover up of a cover up of a cover up. <laughs> yeah, that was like the fourth one. And I was like, okay, fourth and final. <laughs> Nice little stretch there. I like how it looks very brown, the, the reflection of the flame on the base of the lantern. Um, Staying hydrated? Yep, I'm drinking the H2O. Just like that old back, little that, that spot that you were talking about. Yeah. It is right now, but like when you were doing it, and then my tendon like right here or something. Uh, I was like, ah! <laughs> 
So this is what we got so far. So with the lantern, I ended up just doing everything that's outside of it. The reason why I did it that way, it is because if I would have started with the center of the lantern, I wouldn't have an idea of how bright I can make it look. So the outside is really helping me really see how I can make the middle part of the lantern really stand out. But as in right now, uh, this part of the, the, the leg is very irritated right now uh, and it's getting a little swollen. So what I'm gonna do is let it rest for a little bit and I'm gonna work on the back here of, of the piece, do the whole entire uh, sleeve of the cloak. Uh, that's what it is, right? That's what you call it, a cloak? The, the thing that goes on top of it? Yeah, I mean, cloak, a, robe, a whatever. Cloak, a cloak? A cloak sounds more official. <laughs> <laughs> the approach that I'm going to be taking on the middle of the lantern is just starting off with my brown, just as a base, uh, and start creating that, uh, the contrast. This is going to be the brightest point, make it look like this is fire, uh, or the flame of the lantern. So starting off here on the top with some brown, even a tiny little gap between the top of the lantern and the glass area because I'm gonna add a little bit of white highlights in the middle to make it look glossy. And I'm using a nine curve mag with a voltage of a 5.0. As I get closer to the other side on this corner, there is gonna be a lot of highlights. Like if there's like a light coming from this corner to this side. So there's gonna be a lot of uh, glare on this side of the glass. And I'm gonna create that effect with the 14 round liner later on. I'm not really worried about the edge of the glass right now, cause I'm just gonna go back in with my liner and make it sharp. Now that I apply my brown, I'm gonna start transitioning into my orange reddish uh, color. I'm gonna start dipping it into my red slowly, just so it's not like a very harsh transition. But as you can see, it's already changing my brown into a more reddish burgundy color but I have to be careful to not make it too red. I need it to be orange to transition into my brightest yellow. And the reason why I'm only applying it on one side right now is because on this side, the color changes into more of a yellowish brown. So I'm gonna do my red here and my yellow here. Osuna de mi vida te boté. Now that I'm starting to see more red, now it's time to transition. Since my red is already super bright, now it's, 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 uh, it's a good idea to start transitioning to my orange. Look at that orange, nice. <coughs> ah, damn. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That was loud, my bad. I, I felt your leg vibrate. <laughs> <laughs> Going back to my brown to highlight this little corner here with a little bit of yellow to start to start giving it a different look than the other side. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, my bad. That it's was right. that was so insensitive <laughs> from my part. <laughs> Try not to quibble. No, 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 you're good. That was me. Ooh. You see that? Yeah. That Show! Yeah. yeah. So now instead of mixing it with my red, what I'm gonna do is go to my uh, yellow so it can give me a different kind of brown. More like a yellowish brown. See that? Nice. Now as I'm getting closer to the center, it's getting brighter and brighter. Once I'm ready to apply my pure yellow, I am gonna switch cartridges to a clean nine curve mag, so that way nothing's contaminated and I get just pure yellow. I'm almost pasty enough where the, the part of the flame. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks brown. Your skin complexion yeah. is like glowing <laughs> on itself. <laughs> you don't need that yellow. I'm already <laughs> just. With my brown, I will begin the texture here of the lantern. I have a 14 round liner. 
and in the middle of the uh, of all the little negative spaces that I'm gonna leave, that's what I'm gonna add the white highlights. Random. At first, I'm just gonna start creating the shape, nothing final. I just want to see what looks best, so I'm gonna start eliminating a few gaps to give it a better shape. And with that, we are done with day one. Son, let's go. <laughs> How do you feel? Terrible. Sore, <laughs> Sore exhausted, Very. tired. I don't know why I'm tired. I didn't do anything. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. Look at that. Get a little closer. I want you to see those details. Uh, oh. Good job, sir. Thank you. Oh man, that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna let you stretch really quick before I clean it, take some pictures, send I'm you home. Oh, how is it moving? <laughs> oh, did you tight? Oh. <clears throat> nice. Let me get a little bit of a little angle in here. Woo. Was it sore last night? Oh yeah. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> well. I got, up out of bed. I got up out of bed this morning and I was like, oh. Yeah, like, feels it feels tight, huh? Yeah. It feels like it's about to. Yep. Wow. It's so bright. I know, I'm excited. Ah. All right, here we go. Set it up. One more day of pain and go home. <laughs> ah, yes, sir. All right, so on day two, we're going to do the top part of this thigh and. Uh, I'm gonna start with the glove right there. And uh, I'm gonna do a whole bunch of texture on that beak. Woo, it's gonna look sick. I just finished doing the background and behind the thigh. That, that basically helps me out to figure out how bright I can make the glove look and how bright I can make the beak look of the plague doctor. It is very important because the eye is gonna detect three things of this tattoo and that is the beak, the glove, and the lantern. With those three things, this tattoo is gonna be very legible from afar and that's what we want. We got, we got far, we got far. Oh shit, we yeah, really do. Yeah, I know. We got in there. We got it. Let me see. I'm gonna have you stand right there. Yeah, we got far on that. Hell yeah. I love it, sir. Yeah. Did we get through the most painful parts, you think? Yeah, I yeah. think I did. Oh, sweet. Oh, yeah. I guess we just have to find out Hell later. Hell yeah, that's true. <laughs> When it comes down to doing the glove, all I'm doing is grabbing my nine curve mag and also uh, just taking my time with blending it in with my gray. So I'm mixing my black and my white. I'm using star bright white with uh, solid ink lining black. And I'm taking my time. I'm running my machine at a five. So um, that allows me to do a lot of layers. And also it just, I just like the look that, uh, that it leaves. I was telling him his tolerance is pretty good. See? Yup. That glow is sick. Oh, let's go. Check out the glow. Check out the glow on the mirror. Ooh. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Have you ever, uh, whenever you're recording a video, have you ever um, 
how like someone made you feel like, ah oh, man, I don't want to keep doing it today. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, usually when people are like angry or like, man, some people just hate the world. They just. I bet. Yeah. It's crazy though, cause I feel like you still have the, the motivation to keep doing the videos you yeah know? Cause I, mean, I think one situation that would happen to me like that outside i'll yeah. probably like shut down <laughs> i'll probably shut down well, so like, quick for every like one person that gets you know upset there's like a thousand people that you know they really do enjoy it and yeah it makes them you know happy and feel farts good. bring yeah. the world together ah, dude, who would have thought right you know what i mean <laughs> she How'd you feel the whole two days? Uh, it's been a lot. Right? But doesn't <laughs> it feel like the time just is flying, it huh? Goes by. I, I know Thankfully. you said you were hurting, uh, you uh, were yeah. telling me, but sure. your body was telling me something else though, like you were not tense, it was relaxed. Thank you so much for coming back and watching this brand new video and thank you so much for being patient. I've been super busy lately, so I haven't been able to upload as much, but drop in the comment section what kind of video you would like to see and I'm going to go ahead and make that content. But next week, I'm going to be traveling to Orlando, Florida, and I'm going to be guest spotting for the first time in my career. So I would love to share my experience with all of you. So with that being said, if you're a tattoo artist, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you're a tattoo enthusiast, I hope you were entertained. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.